So Hawaiian okay. vanilla beans, so yes. So it's so easy, you just need one ounce of beans, and I'm just going to cut these open. Um, oh, first I'm going to smell them because who doesn't want to do that? Right? Oh my gosh. And the Hawaiian vanilla beans are beautiful, they're fragrant, they're yes, just, they're just and so, so much fun. There's so much oil on that, my goodness. So you get to pick. If you want to keep them whole in this jar, you could just fold them down and put them in. Or you can actually cut them in half, or you can tie them just in a knot. So easy. And then they stay down there, and you get to keep all the caviar that's still in there. So you get to do just about anything you want, which is what I love about this. This is a craft. There are no rules. You get to choose. What is it you like to do? So when I used to cut these, I used to use a knife. I just use scissors now because it's so much easier. So I'm going to cut these. I usually come in threes and they just go down pretty easy. I tie a couple. So the decision between cutting and slicing is just what you want to do with that caviar, whether you want caviar inside your extract. We call the little seeds in the vanilla pods the caviar. That's what everyone calls it. Yeah. We didn't coin that phrase. It's yeah. good but um, that's your decision really behind cutting or not cutting. And then also there's some, there's some data that says the smaller the pieces, the more surface area contact that you have the alcohol, the faster it will extract. And we think that that's true. We think you get an extract a little bit faster with um, more surface area in touch with the alcohol. And I also like the pods in my extract. I love seeing all those little dots in there. So I don't want to have um, just, you know, extract where there aren't any of those little specks. That's the fun part of it. One of our members asked, uh, Christy asked, are those the best uh, to use? I think she's referring to the vanilla beans. Um, they're all great. Uh, and so that's why you go to like, you know, vanillapura.com. We have a whole extract making section. You can go down in that section that's organized by beans, by alcohol, and everything you need to know. So you can look at the different taste profiles of every single one of them to know which one's best for you. So the answer to your question, is that the best? It depends what you're trying to create with your extract. Now, if you're going for um, very traditional, um, vanilla, then you might want to go for the Madagascar bean. That's probably the most traditional tasting vanilla bean that you're probably familiar with. So if this yep. is your very first time, maybe you start with Madagascar, but really you can start with any of these. Yep, someone asked how long does it take to get an orchid on your vanilla bean vine? We've got people that are growing vines now. Um, most of them, as we've seen, they're about four years old when you get quite a few orchids. At three years, you start getting a few, but really four years seems to be the sweet spot in the farms that we visited mm -hmm. um, where you start getting quite a few. And then when those orchids bloom, you got to hand pollinate them like that morning. If you don't do it the morning of bloom, you're probably not going, the, the odds of you getting a good vanilla bean go down the longer you wait. So most vanilla beans are pollinated like before noon, the morning of the bloom. Yep. So. But you'll start seeing them in three years, uh, but four years seems to be the sweet spot for most of our farmers. Go ahead, sorry. Okay, so I put one ounce of beans in there. Some of them are whole, where I haven't cut them, so I can save the caviar. Some of them are cut, so I'm gonna get some of that yummy caviar in my extract when it's finished. So I know that this is a, an eight ounce bottle, so I don't have to measure how much vodka, and I've chosen Kettle One Vodka. Um, really, it's a good vodka, and it's one that we already had in the house, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm not going to go, you know, a special trip when I have some out there, and Kettle One has proved to be a, a pretty good uh, vodka for extra food. Yeah, you don't need to go to the top shelf, especially with vodkas. Vodkas offer sort of a lot of um, options, so you don't have to go super expensive. We've had great uh, extracts with Tito's. We've had great extracts with the high end, like the Grey Goose. Good extracts with, like, Kirtland vodka, um, Kettle One. Um, Svedka. Svedka, they're all great. And then Jill says it's an eight ounce bottle. Um, most bottles, when we source them, they're actually a little more than eight ounces. And so we know that the beans displace some of that alcohol. And so some people will say, well, is it actually eight ounces after you put the one ounces of beans with the displacement? You fill it to the top, you're going to be really close to of not eight ounces because all the bottles are just a little bit larger than eight ounces. Yeah. Same thing with the 16 ounce bottles. They're all a little bit more than just 16 ounces. So they're all a little higher than 24. So there's always a little more room to account for displacement. You're going to be just fine. Yeah. There you go. That How is it. How easy that? So you can shake it up a little bit. Some people like to um, go in and shake it every week. You know what? I just leave it in the back of the cupboard um, and let it do its thing on its own. Go in and check it ever so often. Um, and then we found that in about a year, you're going to have the sweetest vanilla. Now, do you have to wait a year? So this is a hot question. 
And we're going to give our answer. Do you have to wait a year for vanilla extract to be complete? When you're making it in your home, here's the answer. It's ready when you think that it's ready. Yeah. It's that simple. It's yeah. that simple. So a lot of people in our group right now is, am I too late to make extracts for this Christmas? No. We've made extracts like two months before Christmas. And then we usually include like a little note with the extracts. We say that this extract, like you, becomes sweeter with time. Yeah. And then we, we tell the, uh, the person receiving the gift when, you know, we think when the extract hits its year mark, we, we think that that's sort of the sweet spot. But uh, you can taste test it. You can use it a lot sooner. When someone in our group says, I tasted mine in 90 days and it tasted great, uh, we're not going to tell them that it didn't taste great because they tasted it in their kitchen and it was great. However, the reason everybody says one year, and it, it's sort of by survey and just by universal feedback, it sure seems apparent to us that extracts hit their sweet spot right around that one year mark when you're using like lighter spirits like vodka. Yeah. When you're using like a bourbon or a dark rum, uh, sometimes people want to wait all the way up to two years, 18 months to two years. Yeah, it's stronger. So, so the answer to the question is, the extract's ready when you think it's ready. If you like the taste, when you do a taste test, and you can learn how to do taste tests on vanillapure.com, there's a taste test section, show you how it's done. Um, if you think it's ready, start using it. Uh, but everyone in the group uh, rightly is saying, hey, if you wait a year, you're gonna maximize sweetness. That's the idea. That's what we've learned. Yeah, and here's, here's a tip. If you have a question um, about vanilla, go onto our website, go to that little key, and just put in some keywords and see what comes up. I bet you you'll get your answer, because we yes. have a lot, a lot of content on our website that answers just about every question with with vanilla extract. We, we try to fill our website with um, the answers that are sort of vetted, tried and true, and then the stuff that's sort of cutting edge, we typically don't do that on our website until we see that a lot of people have, have done it a certain way, and then there's consensus, and then we'll put it. So we really try to make uh, vanillapura.com the center for good information on extract making to make sure that your first extract turns out great. Um, but that's our answer. When someone says, can I use it in 90 days? Or, if you like it in 90 days, use it in 90 days. Try it out. Our experience says a year is worth the wait. It's really, really good after a year. And with bourbons, uh, two years, a year and a half, uh, totally worth the wait. And then some of our extracts that are, you know, beyond three, like they just keep getting better.